So today we are going to be creating not only a Patreon sticker, but a post to advertise it. Here's our sketch that we're starting with today. We're going to make a dragon sticker. So I'm going to use some of the dry media brushes that it looks like we have from Kyle already in here. My favorite tip is when you are using your brush, you can press down the tilde key, which is a little squiggle underneath the escape key on your keyboard. And as you press it down, it erases with the same brush that you're drawing with. So I'm gonna put the opacity of my really loose sketch layer very, very low so that I can just draw over it. I think I wanna do a really graphic black sketch to start so that I have this like strong base for a ton of color underneath. Here's another hot tip. You can create a nice little color palette in Photoshop and have all these different colors on hand if you need them again. By the way, I'm using Alt or Option to color select this is also a lifesaver. So you do not have to go to the eyedropper tool every two seconds. So we have the layer of um, the fill underneath the actual dragon itself. I'm going to clip it. This is so key to my use of Photoshop is clipping layers. All you have to do is hover between two layers with your stylus, press Alt or Option, and you'll see this little command come up and click down it's clipped. And that means that it will not go outside the bounds of the layer that it is clipped to. So if I want to make the legs yellow, boom, all I have to do is do it on its own layer and it won't go outside of the purple layer. One of the quickest ways for me to pick between colors and see them visually in front of myself is to go to the adjustment layers, throw a hue saturation layer on whatever I am going to adjust. And you can again, clip with uh, alt and hover between. And then once we have this menu up, we can make the background color whatever we want it to be. And so what I'm gonna do is bring this file into Express so that we can create a post. All right, so I'm going to press Instagram square post. Okay. Let's make a new one. I think that we can just copy and paste directly from Photoshop. So control A or command A, then Got command it. C to copy. Command C. And then over into Express. And then? And then command V. It did it! It did it! Yeah. We got it! There are all sorts of templates that you can look through to see if you want to start from something. You don't have to start from, from scratch. I'm thinking that this one would probably be a good one. So we can add as, add as a page. And so what we can do is we can actually just grab and gotcha. copy all the stuff that we want and then get rid of the things that we don't. Okay, I'm just gonna do the whole thing. Yep, and we can control C, control V. You can do that between pages in Adobe Express. Okay, so we've got these stars that are very cute. It's a minimal background. It's got this really soft pink kind of cream color behind it. And what I wanna say is like new sticker of the month kind of thing. Fun. So we have the text tool. So there are a lot of templates for text that you can do, but yes. you also can just add your own text at the button at the top. All it needs is just like, oh, hey, Ooh, here I am. New yeah. sticker this month. That's fun. Ooh, I think what? breathe, but like, yeah, like a slow breathe. And you can actually change the dynamics and the properties of it. So they're soft, there's intense, Ooh. there's energetic. All you really need is like a basic background, the information that you're trying to convey. A little bit of animation goes a really long way. And there is a share button right at the top of the screen. Yes. So you don't even have to exit this program to get it to your socials. And you can schedule You things. can schedule it to post on the own, which oh. is really cool. And now we have this awesome sticker of the month promo. Yay. Thanks so much for joining us. Bye, everybody. Bye.